Congrats, Henry. Oh, you got the bonus? Oh, I, no, I don't, that's not my job. I don't know. Uh, maybe the UFC can tell you that. I was just saying congrats on the win. First win in almost two years, first finish in over four years. Considering all of that, would you say this is the best performance of your MMA career? Can you guys hear me? Do I need the mic? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I, th I think so. I'm evolving area. Like, I, even when I fought Demetrius, I've only been doing, I was only in MMA for three, exactly three years. And uh, I'm still growing as a fighter. Uh, I never did amateurs as, as, a, as a mixed martial arts. I went straight pro. And I was kind of in the fast lane a little bit. But I'm just, I'm slowly improving. And, I, and like people say, and Joseph would always say, like, Henry's an athlete. And he's right. I'm, a, I'm an athlete. I, I can do a lot of things that uh, maybe your typical wrestler can't. Obviously now, I mean, the division is a little bit in flux. It seems like they may do uh, the Ray Borg fight in a month or so. You were supposed to fight Sergio in May. Is that the fight that makes the most sense to try to get back into the title picture for you? Yeah, I, I like that fight. I like that fight. But like I told you guys before, I'm fighting people accordingly. Uh, I can do karate. I can box. And, and, and let's not forget about my wrestling. But I know he's one guy that wants me, and, and, and so do I. I just got to sit down with my team and... Uh, I don't make decisions on my own, but yeah, absolutely. I want, I want, to, I want to fight the, the best guys out there. What did you say to DJ after the fight? Did you say anything to him? <laughs> no, it was more like, like an approval. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, am I getting better? Okay. Like, that's all. Like, uh, and I want to say this in front of everybody. But it's like, I, I, don't, I mean, no disrespect to the champ. Like, he's there for a reason. I know he was with his, with his, uh, with his wife and his, and his father-in-law. And I don't, mean, I don't want to be a disres uh, disrespectful fighter like that. But I eventually do. I do want to fight him. And just curious, what was your reaction when you found out about Ray Borg pulling out 48 hours before? At first, I was a little, uh, a little upset just because, again, our, our division, we, we, this is big for our division. I, and I, maybe I thought it was like a weight thing, possibly. But, you know, I, the matchmakers, they talked to me and said, no, it's, it's legit. The dude was actually, like, really ill and uh, looking to postpone that fight, like, like you said, within a month or so. But, uh, you know, we need fights like that. We need knockouts in the flyweight division. And, uh, you know, that's what I displayed tonight. I, I know uh, even with my last fight with Benavides, man, we're going out there. I'm, I'm trying to give it my all, man, to, you know, fight as technical as I can and, and, you know, and use my brute strength to, you know, to put these guys to sleep. Hey, Henry, over here to your left. Uh, you tweeted after the fact that you had an injury going into your last fight and you kind of want to make up for it by getting a knockout. Um, what exactly happened before the last fight that you were going in there not at 100%? Yeah, no, it was a typical hand injury. I, I hurt my right hand, and uh, I still try to fight Sergio like that. And, uh, you know, I should have I I I just pulled out since the beginning. I try to, I, you know, the wrestler in me, coming from that mentality, you know, you just, you, just, you just suck it up and you just do it. You just go. And uh, my hand just didn't get any better. And uh, once the doctor, the UFC official saw it, we got the x-rays. They just say, hey, man, you can fight, but <laughs> your hand may, may not be the same after this. And uh, I had thought twice, and then we just decided to pull out. So did you mean now that your hand's feeling healthy, you want to show that you can knock people out with them? Was that kind of the yeah, meaning of that yeah, tweet? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I hit hard, man. I'm a little tank. I'm a little tank. And I think now I'm, I kind of understand a little, little more distance, uh, timing. I, you know, I, I owe a lot of this credit to my, you know, to my boxing coach, uh, Alan uh, Santino, all my coaches who... You know who stressed that distance? This it's okay, Henry. You don't have to, you don't have to get in there and, and fight like you always fight. Get in there, you know. Take your time. You're fast. You're explosive, and you know, catching coming in. And we've seen a pretty incredible pro progression from you over these past two fights. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like you're ready for that Demetrius rematch right now, or do you kind of want to see where you're at even a year from now and you know continue this improvement? Yeah, uh, again, man, I, and I have to be honest. I have to sit down and actually talk to my coaches and, and see what see what they think. Uh, emotionally, I do want to fight him right away. Technically, am I going to be ready for this guy? Because I just don't want to fight Demetrius. I want to beat him. And uh, you know, he's been on my mind since since he beat me. I'm a competitor, man. For me to get stopped in front of 20,000 people, that, that shit hurts, you know? And, and I think about it a lot. And uh, he, he's a guy, he's, there's a reason why he's a pound for pound best fighter in the world. And that's who I have to be. Not just fight, beat. Would you call this the best performance of your career tonight? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just adapting to uh, mixed martial arts more. Like even, uh, even when Wilson got to my legs, I was composed. Like I knew who's gonna feel my pressure. 
Like anybody that tries to shoot into my legs, I, I felt him try to take me down when he couldn't take me down. I, I, knew, I knew that exhausted him because I saw it in his facial expression. But there, there's another level of wrestling. And, and I'm going to use my wrestling when I have to. And mark my words, that's where I'm the biggest threat. It's not even my striking, it's my wrestling. And I can control people. So whoever's out there that can now strike me, I'm going to out wrestle you. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep that in my back, my back pocket. So let it be known. Don't forget. Hey, Henry, right in front of you. Uh, UFC PR just told me that you won performance of the night, so congratulations on that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Finally, God! I really, I thought, I thought me and Joseph deserved it that last fight. I was a little, uh, I remember talking to Dana White that night, because he called me the next day, and, you know, he told, me, he told me what he felt, who won. And I was like, Dana, it's okay, man. But why didn't you guys give us, a, you know, the performance, uh, the, uh, perform the fight of the night, man? And he just couldn't answer me, man. So I'm glad I finally, uh, <laughs> I finally get a bonus, man. I <laughs> mean, you gonna split it with Joe then? Is that is that what's gonna happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you ran over to Demetrius, did you know that you were gonna do that, or is no, that no, no? I just saw him. He was cheering for me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want this to come out as a disrespectful thing. Like, Demetrius and his family, they're like, oh, dude, like, good fight, man. You know what I mean? But, it, you know, through the crowd, looks a little different. So I apologize to him if he felt like I was disrespecting him in front of his family because that's not who I am. But I do want to fight him eventually. Yeah, and you keep saying eventually. When do you think you'll, you'll know? Like, how do, you, how do you gauge that? Like, you, and your, you keep saying you and your team will, you know, discuss it and figure out when the right time is, technically speaking. But, like, how, how do you even go about trying to figure that out? Well, remember, ask Ariel. Ariel just gave you the facts. I lost my last two fights. I haven't won in two years. I mean, how do you think I feel? Do I want a title shot? I mean, yeah, but realistically, it's, it's up to the matchmakers. I'm, 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 slow, I'm, I'm getting better and better and better. I know DJ's up there, and I'll be honest with myself. I've got to be there technically uh, at, at, at the same level as him before I fight him because I'll be ready. And this time, it's, it's, I'm not going get, <laughs> to get hit to the body because he beat me in a gray area. He beat me in an area where I thought I was going to be better than him. And nope. You know, it makes the body shots are body shots are mean. Is there like any doubt in your mind that whenever you get to that point, that that anyone will defeat him in the meantime, or are you just in your head, you're just sure that he'll be there? I'm the one. I'm the one. I, I know I'm the one. I have the style. I, ha I have the wrestling. Um, I know I'm the one to beat Demetrius Johnson. And and, and 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 no disrespect to all these other fighters. No disrespect to any of them because they all any anybody anybody has that fighter's chance. But I still believe I have the style to eventually beat him. And I truly do believe that. Thanks, congrats. Thank you. See you. <laughs> 50 Gs, baby. <laughs>